viewers welcome to my channel k kitchen today i am going to prepare a special recipe of this tissel gaum in some places it's also known as spiny gaum and in assam we used to call it as bhat kerala so friends let's move towards the kitchen so friends for my tissel gaum curry first i am going to fry this tissel gaum pieces so in this way i have cut in longitudinal way and then i am going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of turmeric powder i am going to mix them properly and then i'll fry this so friends oil is ready so here goes my bhat kerala or tissel gaum so in this way i am going to fry all this pieces so friends this tissel gaum surprisingly it contains lots and lots of good properties in it so friends it's rich in protein fiber carbohydrates minerals and it also contain vitamins like ascorbic acid thiamine riboflavin niacin so friends see its scientific name is friends momoldica dioica it belongs to family cucurbitaceae and in some places in hindi it is known as kantola parora kirora and in sanskrit it is known as karkotaki or karkoti in this way i am going to fry this for about 3 to 4 minutes and then it's done it's done now so let's take it out let's prepare the curry now for this my pan is ready oil is ready and here goes the cumin seeds and then chopped onion a big one i'm adding 1 spoon of ginger garlic paste and saute for a while i'm adding two fresh chilies you may add dry chili powder also it's up to you among spices 1 spoon of dhania powder 1 spoon of jeera powder saute for a while my onion is ready so i'm going to add now the tomato puree i have used two big tomatoes for this puree about one bowl i am going to cook this for a while and then add a little bit of salt and a little bit of turmeric powder that's all now i'm going to cover this for a while 4 minutes over let's check yeah it's very nice see friends the color is so nice now i'm going to add a little bit of water again allow it to boil for 2 to 3 minutes and then i am going to add my tissel gaum pieces it's cooked now so i'm adding the tissel gaum pieces in this way another 2 to 3 minutes of cooking and then it's done do you know friends it's good for diabetes for weight loss various eye diseases cardiovascular disease and yes its high phenolic content makes it a good antioxidant and yes it exhibits anti allergens and analgesic properties also now before winding up i am adding a little bit of garam masala powder about 1 spoon so friends it's ready now i'm going to put off my gas so friends my tissel gaum curry is ready it's very very healthy and yes it's very very tasty also please friends try this so friends if you like my today's video then please press the like button and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe my channel and yes don't forget to press the bell icon thank you